Few freshmen are getting as much attention as Loretta Sanchez. I actually really wanted to be a dentist when I was growing up. I didn't think I would be a politician, but I got mad one day. I'm Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez. I am a United States representative in the House of Representatives. Oh, by the way, my younger sister is also a United States Congresswoman. I come from a family of immigrants here in the United States. My mom and dad were both from Mexico. My dad was a factory worker and my mother was a stay-at-home mom. I grew up in a pretty lower economic area. I started studying economics in college and I decided that that's what I wanted to do. I'm actually very, very good at math and science. I became an economist and an investment banker, basically was a financial type of person. Uh, I'm Stacy from the Air Force Liaison Office, oh. and I have the Congresswoman's passport. Thank you very much for that. You bet. That's uh, very important that for she lives in. I was working on some um, education issues at a very local level, and so I started putting in math and science classes in labs and after school programs and mentoring all in my spare time in the schools where I went and really changed where the kids were going. So I went to the school board and I said, listen, we need to do that at all the schools you guys have. And they weren't interested. And then I went to my member of Congress and he refused to meet with me. But I was just pretty angry that in the democratic process, the person that represents me in Washington wouldn't have the time of day for me. I went home and I said to my family, I'm gonna run for Congress. Orange County, California, home of Disneyland. I represent California's 46th congressional district. That would be the cities of Anaheim, where Disneyland is, Santa Ana, Garden Grove, and Orange. And it's a 50-50 split pretty much between Democrats and Republicans. Orange County has sent a message. Mine is a very particular case in the history of the United States Congress. I won with a margin of 984 votes, less than 1%, and the guy that I beat, the incumbent, had been there for 18 years, and so he said that I cheated. So when I actually came to the Congress, when everybody else on the day when they put up their hand and they all get sworn in together, they actually pulled me aside and they swore me in what we call provisionally, which means they were going to investigate my election. I was set provisionally, so I had voting rights and stuff, but there were some things I couldn't do. And it took 17 months to clear the election and say that I had officially won and everything was good with it. So my first couple of years here were actually very, very difficult. You are asking the Congresswoman to support the USA Freedom Act. All right, is there anything else you'd like to leave uh, for the Congresswoman? Most of the time when I'm back home in California, I'm not in my office at all. I'm actually out of the office seeing what's going on. Okay, great. When I'm here in Washington, D.C., I'm either in this office taking meetings with national groups. Lobbyists will come in and talk about some of the legislation that's going on and how it's going to affect either our country or California or my area. So a lot of times I'll actually be sitting in committee. I think that I ended up being on the Defense and Homeland Security Committee because I know a lot of math and science and a lot of the things that happen in those committees are big money things, they're scientific things, they're cutting edge things and you know it's very unusual. It's very unusual for a woman to be in the room on most of those types of issues. But I think I just have an affinity for it and now I've just become pretty specialized in it. The House will be in order. A representative is the closest piece of the federal government that is with the people. Because the House of Representatives is the people's house. You may never meet the president, you may never meet your senator, but most likely you will have the ability to meet your representative. So we have to understand and we have to be out with the people that we represent. First and foremost, I believe I have to do what's the most important thing for America and Americans. This is my country. Our subcommittee looks at equipping our troops in particular, but at the same time, that might conflict a little bit with what's the best thing for the actual people I represent. So there's a lot of compromise there. You have to have a lot of patience and you have to have a lot of optimism. And I guess I do because the people back home, you know, they send me here not only to solve their problems, 
but also to help them realize their dreams. And that's a really awesome responsibility to have. It's really a privilege.